What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video we are in Ireland when they just launched their brand new rabbit update. Yes, we have finally got a rabbit update. These were leaked quite a long time ago and now they are finally out. So I'm gonna read you the patch notes here and we're gonna get into everything that is new. So this is what Snake Trick said on their Discord. Added rabbits. Rabbits will naturally spawn on your island during rainy days, days in the winter. So it has to be raining and also all your grass blocks have to be white, meaning it has to be winter and also, also has to say winter here. So if it says winter here and it's raining, you have a chance for a bunny to spawn on your island. Added rabbit cages, so if you catch one of your bunnies, um, they will instantly go into a cage, which I don't know how I feel about that, but yeah. And then if you hold down click, they, if you hold down click, they're supposed to go back on your island. I don't know what's going on right now. But yeah, there is a white variant, as you can see, and a brown variant. As you can see, they're pretty much the same. And I'm sure we'll find a brown one in today's episode. So, they added Dom, a farming wholesaler. Talk to him to sell crops in bulk. Okay, so we're gonna go over to him, because he says something really, really important. So. Here he is, so if you go between Seeds guy and Box guy, he'll be right here, he looks rich, like a really, really rich man. So we go in here, we can buy a crate packer, which I already bought 100, so I'll tell you how much 100 was. I spent a million dollars on this. Um, but anyway, if you press Y crates, I've been raising a large creature. Once it is fully grown, I'll bring it into town. <clears throat> a large creature, you said? Um, I'm moving to bed wars. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. But uh, anyway, so let's go into him. That's what that says. So that's pretty much a hint to either a new really big pet or something that will destroy the island. Um, something Maybe something like that. I don't know. But I'm sure we'll get more information on that soon. Now if we go to his shop, as you can see, we have um, sorry, a lot of different uh, items in crates. And then most of you, pretty much all of you, will see not, not enough there because you won't have one of these. To get one of these, what you have to do is you have to buy one of the crate pickers, okay? Um, place it on your island. It's a bit laggy at the moment. I'm not too sure why it's laggy, but uh, that's okay. Um, and then all you need to do, okay, is connect a totem here. And then you can either set up a farm here or you can just drop it in. Uh, you have to select what one you want first. So if you select crate of wheat, um, it will only allow wheat in. And then once you drop 100 of these, okay, so we should be near there. 8, 9, 10. Alright, that's 100. Maybe. Alright, yes. So once you get 100, it will drop a crate of wheat or whatever you're putting in there. So uh, if we have a look at this, I already have a crate of, uh, crate of wheat. You can see here, it's not placeable, but what um, the reason you want to do this is if you're putting it, if you're doing a farm and it's going into a chest, this would make it so instead of um, a bit of wheat taking up a hundred slots, it's only taking up one, so that gives you a hundred times more space in your um, things, and it only costs 10,000 coins in game. That's insane, to be honest. Now they all give buff prices, so if I sell one of these, it's 875 coins, but if I was to sell 100 to here, let's see how much it's worth. See if I was to 700, so it is a buffed price, which is really good, so it's even more worth to do, use a crate of wheat, and you don't even need to make the crate, so this is a completely automated system, and you get 100 times the better quality, so that's just insane in my opinion. Okay, next up we have the polishing station. So it lets you turn uh, selected items into smooth variants. I'm gonna, I've already made most of them, and I'm gonna come and show you them all over here, as I have already got them all in my museum, as you know, because I, I have nearly everything in the game in here, uh, every block. So if we come up here, um, we have the smooth um, aquamarine items. So there we are, it's just, uh, it's just the same item, pretty much with less detail and a lot more refined, I think. And then they also have um, smooth sandstone and 
red sandstone, which is really cool. And then the same with their stairs and their slab variants. So it's very cool. That's those are the only blocks at the moment that you can make smooth. But I'm guessing they're gonna add more in the future. And there's a bunny outside. Oh no! How am I to get him? Let's get okay. We'll sort that out later. But anyway, so here is the polishing station. When I seen this in the leak, leaks, they did say it was a polishing station, but I thought it was for your nails. No, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I, but I didn't know what it, what it was for. I, did, I thought it had something to do with the bunnies, um, but I didn't. Uh, I had no idea because I seen it had like, blocks down here and whatever. Now it all makes sense. So if you put them in here, um, I will, actually I'll show you. So if you put something like red, red, red sandstone in here, it will spin. It will take a second. And boom, as you can see, we have got the uh, smooth one. Okay, now to get the brick version of this, you have to use a stone cutter, and then you can put it in the stone cutter, power it up, and then in when it's finished, out will come a the brick variant, uh, the smooth brick variant of it, which is really really sick. And there you, there we have it. Okay guys, so I was editing, editing the video that you're watching right now and I realised that I actually missed something that was in the update. It was actually a, quite a big thing too and then Josh, it was in an industrial item um, called the industrial uh, polisher, I'm pretty sure. So when we're loading here, I'm going to go uh, get it because I actually haven't got it yet either. It is very expensive um, from what I've seen. So that's the industrial... Um, Packager, so that's what packages all your things and makes them create. There's the uh, brown thing. They jump everywhere. They're pretty crazy. But um, anyway, here we got factory. Uh, should be here. Okay, here. The industrial polishing station. So we should be able to get these pretty easy. Um, convert blocks into smooth blocks. So it does the exact same thing as uh, the. As the polishing station. Uh, it just, it's, it's automatic, you can set it up pretty much. I don't know why you'd want to do that, because um, there's no way to automatically put blocks there. Like, there's no, no, there's no Akamurian totem, there's no sandstone or red sandstone totem, so <clears throat> I wouldn't really know why you'd want this except for like, maybe more speed. Um, so yeah, by the picture it does look very bulky, so I'm going to get it real quick and I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okay, there, so I have all the items we're gonna need now. Here we are, let's craft this. Oh, did it work? Yep. Uh, in case, we've got an uh, industrial polisher. Uh, okay, it's very laggy today, I'm not too sure why. I think there's a lot of people on because of the update, but anyway. It looks very bulky here. Oh, it is very bulky here too. But anyway, if we go in here, you can do three at a time. So let's just test this out real quickly. We'll get a conveyor out, and we'll get some uh, coal, and let's get um, red sandstone, okay? So, no, we need smooth fox, okay, sorry. Um, so you need to put a smooth, wait, no, 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 I was right, I was right. Oh. So you can, yep, put sandstone in here. Put the coal in first, so you can put three at a time. Oh, that didn't work. But yeah, you put three at a time. And then if we do this one too. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna put it in. Uh, it's, I don't know what's going on today, guys. Here yeah, we put it in, and boom, you can do three at a time, which is a lot better than the one at a time you can do with the works um, bench one. So let's get back into... Okay, and they also fixed the cast fishing rod button placement on mobile. So that's uh, pretty much it for this update. There will be a, a whole new video on bunnies tomorrow, and also um, a few more videos on other bits of the updates to come. Also, a few hours ago, I did release my first, and probably my last, but my first for now, music video. I did sing it, so it's not the best, but um, 
yeah if you guys want to go see that i'll leave a link in the description down below so saying that if you guys enjoy make sure you smash the subscribe button and the like button join my discord link in the description down below and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys